Hi, I'm Dr. G. Anand, consultant neurosurgeon at Kamanini Hospitals LV Nagar. Kamanini Hospitals LV Nagar is a super specialty hospital equipped with uh, all the advanced uh, equipment for neurosurgical and trauma care. The common uh, neurosurgical conditions that we see in our uh, emergencies or OPDs are uh, trauma constitutes a major chunk of neurosurgical procedures. So trauma could be brain or spine traumas. In brain trauma, we can have either hemorrhages or fractures. In spine trauma, we can have fractures or disc problems or slippage of bones, that's called listhesis. We can also have uh, neoplastic conditions, that is tumorous conditions. These tumorous conditions can be of two types, either they are benign or malignant. Malignant meaning cancerous lesions, benign meaning non-cancerous lesions. In brain, malignant lesions constitute a major chunk, whereas in spine, non-cancerous lesions, that is benign lesions, constitute a major chunk of the tumors. So, the, one of the most common malignant brain tumor that we see in routine clinical practice is uh, something called glioblastoma multiforme. So then coming to, we have uh, some other conditions called vascular lesions, that is conditions that arise out of the blood vessels in the brain. So these could be the most common things that we can know of is strokes. Strokes are of two kinds, either it is hemorrhagic stroke, that is uh, a vessel rupturing the brain and causing a clot, or a thrombotic stroke or infarctal stroke, in which the blood vessels get clogged, leading to damage to the brain. There are always certain warning signs which our body gives and which if we can perceive at the right moment can help us in landing up for neurosurgical care. Of course as a surgeon I am I'm like uh, that's my duty to educate people that there are certain warning signs and you need to be well aware of these things. So for example when it come to, comes to brain conditions, persistent or sudden headaches or changing patterns of existing headaches could be a warning sign. Similarly, loss of feeling or tingling or numbness in any particular part of the body or weakness or loss of muscle strength in any part of the body or loss of sight or double vision or memory loss or impaired mental ability, lack of coordination, rigidity in any part of the body, particularly upper limbs or lower limbs, tremors or seizures then language impairment or speech disturbances like slurred speech or altered sleep uh, speed of the speech so these could be certain conditions warning signs from the brain aspect 